officials are continuing to investigate what started the fire. 27 First News reporter James Santelli talked with the family about the blaze and how lucky they are despite losing a lot. It's been more than 36 hours since a fire destroyed the barn on the Bates family farm on Western Reserve Road, and you can still see the smoke. A fire so hot it melted cars in the driveway. Carol Bates says she only got out because her daughter ran from next door to wake her up. We were sleeping, you know, she wouldn't have got up. I don't know what would have happened. The house was saved, but the barn and garage next to it are gone. And it's important to note, the barn was just about to be recognized as turning 100 years old this week. I had papers to register, whatever, but you know, still to us, it's special. I mean, 100 years or not, it's home. And it had everything the Bates family needed to make a living, tools and equipment for hay farming. Last thing I would ever dreamed about, having a fire that would take all that out. And besides that, that's what I made my living doing. So what do the Bates plan to do now after the fire? That's the moment I don't know because I'm not 21 anymore either. So, but I'm able to work. It's just a wonderful place to be. I could not imagine being anywhere else. It just, it's a wonderful community and people. So I'm blessed. In Goshen Township, James Santelli, WKBN 27, First News.